I think it should be fine now. Probably. Come on, baby. What do you think, dear? Like, I it's annoying, but Wazzy actually looks good with the <sighs> Okay. Like if he actually like he actually looked really good with the tank. It it's fine. <laughs> I, I'm here for it. <laughs> You're just here for the tank in general. <laughs> I know. Do you want me to try and farm some more of them? That way, you don't that have way to. everybody can wear a tank? Nah, not everyone needs a tank. Sure. Mm. It sure sounds like you'd be happy if everyone had a tank on their head. I'm good. <laughs> Thank you for all your help. We don't have much to offer in return, but here are some snacks. I hope you'll enjoy them. You didn't have to do that. But the gesture is still appreciated. Yeah, I've never fixed medical equipment before, so I didn't want to get anyone's hopes up. <laughs> you could have had me fooled with such fine work. You both did splendidly. Splendidly. Splendidly do. <laughs> I believe I owe you an apology. A big one. None of this would have happened had we protected everyone at the signing ceremony like we swore to. Tio, you can't blame yourself. Rufus, even imposter Rufus, fights like regular Rufus is a fucking monster. If only we'd been stronger. You can't be stronger than Rufus. Hey, come on, Tio. Oh, Tio. No, this isn't your fault. That's right, no one is blaming you for what happened. Looking back, I don't know what more you could have been expected to do. Look, Lloyd. It's Tio! I thought she might come here. Thank goodness she's alright. Tio Brando. Looks like they're talking to evacuees from the city. Hmm? Hold on just a minute. Yeah, things were doomed from the start. It finally dawned on me, too. I don't know why we ever thought we could be truly independent. It's hopeless. Huh? Uh, what's gotten into you guys all of a sudden? Oh, no. It's obvious, isn't oh, it? no. The Supreme Leader never would have occupied us again if we just obeyed the Empire like we used to. We wouldn't have to be afraid of the EDF had we not dreamed of independence. And when you think about it, everything was better when we were an Imperial province. Even the economy was booming. Why give all of that up? Why did we ever want to be independent? Hey! Get a hold of yourselves! What is wrong with all of you? There really isn't any need to be so pessimistic. The Supreme Leader and the EDF aren't all we have to worry about either. There's also those huge machines. They even have the old president's backing. Everyone in the city is enthralled by them. <clears throat> there isn't a shred of hope things are going to get better anymore. No, that's not true at all. The SSS is going to keep fighting. We have allies we can depend on. The CPD, CGF, and even our friends from outside Crossbell. There are people who will surely help us. We won't allow you to suffer like this. We'll be the ones to put an end to it. Tio. Tio, you shouldn't. We used to have hope too, thanks to you, or at least we thought we did. Whether it was the Mafia or that cult, or even when our own mayor became a dictator, we kept on believing. Not even the Imperial occupation or the war made us lose hope, but in the end, it was all for nothing. The signing ceremony made us realize that. What we had was never hope to begin with. It was just delusion, and that made it even more painful once we accepted the truth. Again and again and again and again. Over and over and over and over. We were never hoped. 
to them? Th that can't be true. We can't just give up and... Stop. Please, just stop. Can't you see we're just so tired of all this? Besides, you've got no right to talk to us about ending our suffering. If you hadn't arrested President Croy, then we would have already had everything we ever wanted. <laughs> Everything we did was... Hmm... Can you all hear yourselves? You're completely full of it. Wazzy stepping in, he got the tank for a head. Aren't you? Kia, Wazzy... Hey, you guys are all right! I was one of the people involved in that arrest. So let me make something perfectly clear. Letting Dieter Kreuz go free for what he did over two years ago was never an option. He attacked the city. Had the speaker detained and even tried to take over the entire continent. Dieter was arrested in accordance with state law. The same as any cross Bellin would have been. That's all there is to it. <laughs> I... Yeah, but what about... What about cross -bell? They had a responsibility to do what was best for us. Responsibility? And why is that? Because you made them your symbols of justice? Because you decided they were your heroes? You tell them, Wazzy. This is why you're awesome. The SSS is just a division of the Crossbell Police Department. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, friggin' like TLDR. So you know how everybody's like glamorizing the SSS and all of that. Yeah. They're literally just a fucking like a just a special unit of the police department. They're basically like the FBI. Oh. They're not uh... like. Yeah. So they handle Kate like they are more skilled. And they handle, like, more crazy cases than the actual police department can handle. But they're still just police officers. Like, yeah, they're a, like, they're a specialized unit of police officers. Well, okay, not the FBI. Well, I guess they're like a com combination of the FBI and the SWAT teams. Hmm. But at the end of the day, they're still just police officers at their core. Like, Lloyd, they call Lloyd Detective Bannings because he's an actual detective. Like, he has his detective badge. He passed the detective ex detective's exam. So he's an actual detective from for the police department. They're not a specialized military force like the Crossbell Guardian Force or the CDF, the... or whatever, or the fucking... Imperial Intelligence Division or Thor's Military Academy or all that. They're I was actually just about to say, like, they're not like Class 7. Yeah, they're not like Class 7, which is like a specialized... I mean, they, they are like Class 7 in terms of, like, their skills and the uh, things everybody brings to the table and their uniqueness and their skill to get things done. But Class 7 is more of, like, a military thing. Like, it's more like military because, you know, they're Military Academy. But Lloyd went to the police academy, so he's a police officer. He's not a military man. You have no one to blame but yourselves for thinking any different. Their purpose isn't to make all of your problems go away. <laughs> or like, you know how Wazzy and now like, Wazzy's part of the Grawls Ritter? That's like a super specialized giga team who has like oh. super duper magic because he's part of like the church's elite forces. Mm. No one thought... <sighs> I know it's been a long two years. Two years where all cross Bellins could do was powerlessly watch the Empire trample over their pride. It's natural to wish that a savior would appear and solve everyone's problems. But personally, I never wanted to see cross Bell come to that. What cross Bell has given me is irreplaceable. Friends and family that mean the world to me, like Lloyd and Vald. So it pains me to see this as someone who's come to love Crossbell more than his old home. Wazzy. The SSS chose the path they did because they wanted a little girl to be free. Yeah, so everything that Lloyd did was to free Kia from her fucking horrible fate from the cult and the, uh, the Azure Tree and the Mafia, and all that shit. So everything the SSS did, like, everything that happened in the Crossbell games, was literally us basically trying to protect Kia. 
Uh. But that same little girl couldn't help but feel it was her fault when she saw Erebonia invade and take over her home. Because she knew that none of it would have happened if she didn't exist. Yeah, no. <sighs> but she wasn't the only reason they chose the path that they did. The SSS had also seen how strong Crossbell became, facing adversity over and over again. They knew that if they chose any other path, the efforts and sacrifices of so many would be lost. Their home would never be the same. And they, along with that little girl, believed from the bottom of their hearts that all of Crossbell would overcome it for the better. She's right. That was what we decided. I want to answer the trust they placed in me however I can. I was all alone once, somewhere very dark. It's because of everyone around me that I have so much to be thankful for. The SSS and the people of Crossbell made me into the person I am today. So now I want to fight to help them. That means I'm here to pave a path forward for all of you too. And on it, I just know we'll see brighter days because it was Crossbell and its people that taught me the strength to persevere. Path forward. Maybe she's right. It could be too soon to be giving up hope. It's true, we've been through a lot of hard times before, but those experiences are what made us who we are today. Yes, you're right. That's a part of what makes Crossbell what it is. Maybe we are stronger than we give ourselves credit for. Look. It's disappearing. Looks like we're the ones who should be apologizing after all. There was That was no way to talk to the people who have done so much for us. Not after you've put so much on the line to protect Crossbell. Yes, and somewhere along the line we started taking that for granted. I still don't know what exactly I can do to make a difference, but at least I can do is look for a way to move forward, just like you all have. That's right, we have to hold out hope. Hello, everyone. <sighs> anyway, we should be grateful that you all made it out of the city safely. I hope you'll keep up the good fight, SSS. We'll keep on cheering you on. Like, Wazzy is just we have to keep doing that guy. Always have. Yep. That's to keep moving forward. One step at a time. That we're not naive enough to believe that will be enough to take back what we lost. It's going to take the help of everyone who calls Crossbell home. So do me a favor and think about how you can help. What you would give to be free. And I promise the SSS will support you just as much as you've always supported us. Uh, the SSS and their allies then bid, bid farewell to the citizens and left the rooftop. Back inside, a familiar nurse agreed to let them use the nurse's station, talk to, and decide what to do next. <laughs> I've got the GERD happening in my stomach. <laughs> Tio, sorry I kept you waiting again. I'm glad you're okay. Oh, Tio, friends. Do you hear yourself? I'm the one breathing a sigh of relief. Yeah. Your injuries seemed so severe. And then we were all separated. So that's what this is all about. It's okay, I can't imagine how tough it's been for you three being kept in the dark. Thanks for worrying about me. I know it couldn't have been easy. It never is. You're always so reckless. But I knew you'd come looking for me again. Of course. Boy, I'm so glad you found me. Yeah. Wasn't gonna stop till I did. Oh. <laughs> Would you listen to them go on and on? Wazzy, I, I can't take you seriously with that tank on your head, but with the kind of character you are, you're not meant to be taken seriously, and that's why the tank suits you perfectly. <laughs> I'm so happy for you, Tio. Would you not get off with the crying already? With the boohoo tears. Everybody in this game is just a bunch of crybabies. So you're headed for the Reinford Military Factory to the west. I had a feeling that might be it. You did? So that must be what you three have been doing here, then. Precisely. The Chief, Yona, and I have been looking into some suspicious information surrounding the factory. Not to mention, I spotted a certain sketchy professor amidst the chaos of everyone fleeing the city. You mean that slime ball that supported the illegitimate regime from three years ago? Ouroboros' sixth anguish, Professor F. Novartis, head of the 13 factories. 
I had a feeling the society was involved. His specialty is applied sciences, right? He's the one in charge of all their crazy powerful tech. Yes, in addition to being the first engineer who completed the first generation ions. His involvement could explain that new Zalbor Soldat model and that strange mask. That's why we've had our attention placed on the military factory. Good thinking. It's looking more and more likely that uncovering something to help our investigation will be there. Have you three found an infiltration route? It just so happens we have. Yona and I looked into it. There was a cargo line while the factory was still under construction before the war. It feeds directly into the underground railway that connects to St. Ursula. Well, that's convenient. Almost too good to be true, but I trust it if it's Teal's, if Teal's the source. We should head there right away. There's no time to waste. The sooner we uncover what's really happening, the better. Yes, and the church isn't going to look the other way. If it turns out the society is the one orchestrating this incident, there's no telling the extent of the Alvarea fellow's plans. But it's high time we shed some light on what's really going on. I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of it, of it if we all work together. Just try not to get caught, will ya? Don't let all that hard work we did go to waste. Don't worry, we'll be careful. And thanks, Yoda. We really owe you one for helping Tio out. Save it, Banning. It's not like I did that much. Still, I guess it's good to see you back on your feet. You're the same obnoxious brat you ever were, huh? But that's part of Yona's charm. Yeah, knock it off already! Well then, we'll leave the investigating the factory up to the four of you. Yona and I will continue gathering as much info here as we can. You can reach the underground railway platform from the first floor lobby. Got it, thanks. We'll be going now, Chief. Look after yourself. Same to you, Tio. Lloyd's Craft Burning Heart has been enhanced to Burning Heart 2. Alright, anyway. Now that we have a tank on our head, we can leave. Tank on yes. our head. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Now, wait a minute now. Oh, Tio with the twin tails is adorable. But. Oh, she looks super cute with the wild fluffy ears. Eh, nah, Wazzy Tank. Well, wait, 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 wait. Dear. I can put the tank on Kia's head. Yeah. What do you think? Oh. What do you think? I think that's great. Okay. <laughs> then we shall leave it at that for now. <laughs> we won't get to see it. We won't get to see it in like any battle though. No, it's okay. Oh no. <laughs> He's beautiful. What are you doing? I don't, he's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> he's beautiful. Oh, why no. does that work so well? I don't. Why do they why do they match his hair better there than Tio's hair? <laughs> Tio's hair. Uh, I think they match Tio's hair just fine. Yeah, they match her hair just fine for the most part. What are you doing? Princess Wazi? Hmm? <laughs> no? Okay. Nah, it's fine. The boy the boys can have it too. Well, I, I only I only have one. Oh no. Yeah, I only have one, so I guess Okay. I guess we're giving it to Lloyd. Yeah, yeah, Lloyd's best girl. Yep. <laughs> you can get to the underground station through the lobby. Oh, I spot the door. Beat you there. <laughs> This is my first time seeing the new subway line they built. It's a little eerie how deathly silent it is down here. Yeah. All oh, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yeah, all the trains were stopped after the city was occupied, right? He has faith. 
with the tag, she's like, yeah, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> yes, we don't need to worry about the tracks being active. We should we should eventually reach the spot where the freight and the passenger line split if we follow the line to the north. Let's make that our first destination. Walking on trains like this always makes my heart race. Definitely, we've had to do this more than a few times over the last couple of years. All right, let's get going. Let's get going, gang. I can't. <laughs> I, 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 I can't. You can't. I can't. Oh no, goodbye. Best girl. Like, is this, a, uh, this might be a good compromise. It's, it's acceptable. Okay. Although... <sighs> No, never mind. You fucking. I'm giving him best girl. No, you, you were so to... happy. He need to... You were so happy. <laughs> I want to make you happy. It's fine. It's, it's... <laughs> it's not that deep. It's pretty damn deep. It's not that deep. What do you think? Yeah. Anyway, uh, this, this. Okay, she has Diamond Nova R, she has Cast 2. Oh, I thought I had, wa I thought I had Water Bell. But no, that was for the other one. Uh, no. Trade, trade. So I need uh, one Aqua Bleed R. Oh, did you need me to resend you the mistranslated things? Um, yeah, sure. See, I, I don't remember where they, they got put. I actually don't know if you sent them to me at all. I did. I, I did. I truly did. I don't know if you did. I don't. I truly don't know if you did. I truly did. I truly, I truly, truly and did. honestly did. I don't think you did. I truly don't think you did. I did, though. I don't think that you did. stuff. Let's go, ladies! Wazi does have the ability to do some casting, but... I 
makes you want to be a caster. Well, actually... Okay. Rich Fence of Art Cast. CP increases automatically every turn. She can have this one. What? How dare. feels right when it comes to you. I get what you mean. We're so in sync that I don't even have to think half the time. Oh. With, with Lloyd being best girl, that that battle ending interaction hits substantially differently. Yeah. Let's make this quick. Yeah. Right. Raring to go. I could have done that in my sleep. <laughs> Man, you guys were super cool. Not as cool as that tank you've got on your head, Kia. That tank you've got is pretty cool indeed. We made it to the junction. If we kept going straight, we'd eventually reach the city. Yeah, but I seriously doubt the EDF doesn't have that direction heavily guarded. I wouldn't risk it. Yep, no need to rush it. I'm sure we'll make it back to the city eventually. Yes, it's only a matter of time before we gather our friends and teach the so-called Supreme Leader a lesson. No one stands between us and our home and gets away with it. <laughs> That's the spirit. So, Kia, Wazi, a little late, but I've been meaning to thank you for earlier. For what? <laughs> Whatever is it for this time. Don't play dumb. I'm talking about how you chimed in at the hospital. You helped me realize something important. The citizens of Crossbell weren't the only ones who had lost sight of the truth. We had too. The SSS had a clear dream two years ago, when Crossbell was annexed by Erebonia. We wanted our home to be free again, but it wasn't just that. We weren't blind patriots, fighting to protect personal pride or acting on some grand ideal. Had we been, our actions wouldn't have led to Crossbell losing its freedom. Wouldn't have led it straight into the arms of the Empire. And the little girl we protected over giving Crossbell its freedom and future wouldn't be here supporting us. What we truly wanted. For her and for every citizen who would have to bear the burden of our choices. Was for them to smile. And if we could give them their home as well. And they could be free and smile as much as they dreamed. It really was that simple. Lloyd. <sighs> it's true. That's how I felt. And I'm sure Ellie and Randy would say the same. But sadly, I agree. Somewhere along the line, we lost sight of that goal. The more expectations people placed on us, the more we became convinced we were obligated to win back the state's freedom. <laughs> 
That soon turned into wanting to be seen as the very symbols of independence. To be seen as heroes to our home. All the while, we were turning our eyes away from the feelings of despair and distrust that the people had been harboring. Those feelings were probably what allowed Rufus's words to worm their way into the citizens' hearts. But regardless, we aren't going to lose our way again. We'll keep sight of our goal this time and do things our way. We're not miracle workers. We'll just do our best to make people's lives better, while others help us as much as we help them. That's what's allowed us to come this far. Good. That sounds more like the SSS I fell in love with. Yeah, well, I can And tell if you that. ask me, that's mm -hmm. what it's going to take if you want to make it through this ordeal, too. Every crisis you've overcome to date has been with the help of countless others, and this will be no different. I think what Wazi means to say is every crisis we've overcome, because we're all one big family at the end of the day. That's why I decided to become Key of Dannings. <laughs> and this is a chance for us to start over from zero, then. That's right. We're going to reclaim everything that was taken from us. Here, here, I'm Lloyd Dannings. As always, we're going to fight, struggle, and shine the light on the truth. Together. Together. Gunfire. Huh? What was that? I heard it, too. That sounds like... It's gunfire. And not just gunfire, either. Oh, no. We're in trouble. Look up ahead. Agate! Stop where you are, rebels! Agate's great, too. I like Agate. Surrender now, or there will be no mercy! <sighs> you holding up all right, Tita? I I'm fine. But at this rate... Get down, you two! There's more of them. Where did you guys come from? The SSS? What are all of you doing down here? We can explain later. Let's focus on taking care of these guys first. Yeah, you tell her him. New model sold out. Helmord. The SSS, huh? It must be our lucky day. Our Helmord will punish all who dare to oppose the Supreme Leader! That must be the name of this new model. <sighs> this is the last place I want to fight a Zalber Soldat. Nevertheless. Exactly. Now's not the time to falter. Everyone, prepare for battle! I'll back you up with my orders. You better back us up with those orders. You better back us up with those orders, Kia. Look out! That one's strong! <gasps> Yeah, dear. <laughs> the tank on her head is great. The tank on her head is amazing. It was a wise decision. I know, that's why I did it. <laughs> if you need me! That vinyl cannon was good. That vinyl cannon is pretty good. Could you cover me? You're so needy. Let's watch Lloyd use the super move with the hair. <laughs> yeah. Rising oh. Sun! He's a Sailor Moon! <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, oh, that's what I needed. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> So I... Okay. Park it there! Oh, my, you! <laughs> okay. Park it... <laughs> there! <laughs> okay, then. Yeah, thanks. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, damn, we got that That's one so for me. My turn. Sonic. I'll help if you need me. I'll go. Oh, 
Okay, this, this fight's gonna be a little bit bleh. Look out! Oh. You're open! Following up! Raring to go! So I. Raring to go! Parkets activate! Yeah! <laughs> if you need me! You're so needy. Ark. Turn up. Take this. Come on, baby. I won't let yeah. you. That's it for me. I'm sorry. Wow, this guy is obnoxious. Oh, I guess I could use Ion Shield to fucking block his shit. Sorry. Leave it to me. My turn. Let's go. Oh, of course he is. Damn it. Hmm. How do I want to do this then? Look out! It's my turn. Right. Yeah. Let's go. We're ready to go. Popping up the Aeon Shield. It's my turn. It's my go. Yeah. Oh, why you? Raring to go. Just gonna keep reflecting that shit. Thank you. It's my turn. So needy. It's my turn. 
Right. Right. And... Let's go. Okay. Uh... Commencing drive. There. There. It's my turn. I can do it. But... My turn. Think. It's my go. Keep Keep strong. Okay. Then... Right. It's my turn. It's my turn. And... Ah, this is going much better. It's my turn. They're open! Following up! Come on, baby. It's my turn. Yeah. Oh, they're open! Following up! Okay. Bunny. I can do it. Maxi, it's my turn. Let's go. It's my turn. And it's always Lloyd's turn. Right. <laughs> Come on, baby. It's my turn. It's my turn. Right. Let's go! And... Let's go! Uh, I won't uh, let... Uh, right! Uh, oh, they're open! Following up! Okay! Yeah, great! There! That was easy. Couldn't have done it without you, Tia. I just had to fucking... Couldn't have done it without you. I just had to abuse the setup I have. <laughs> nice! I did it! Nice. Best girl leveled up. So did Tia. Yeah. And Tia. Of course I'd improve. And was well. <laughs> Ugh, this can't be happening. How did that glorified forklift manage to overcome our latest Albert Soldat? We must report this to the Supreme Leader at once. <sighs> we managed to take it down. Whew, I didn't doubt that we would. Good work, everyone. I thought we were goners when they were chasing us back there. Yeah, we owe you guys one. Thanks for saving our bacon. I doubt we could have taken out that soldat thing without you. Don't mention, I'm glad that we could count on Tita and her herbal gear. Here's hoping we'll be smooth sailing from here. Look at the awesome team we're assembling. I'm sure everything will work out at this rate. Hey, you guys look like you're in good spirits. I'm so glad you're all right. So what are you two doing down here in the first place, Tita? You came running from the direction of the city. Well, the thing is, maybe it's fate we ran into you guys now of all times. We haven't seen you haven't seen Erica around, have you, Professor Russell? No, has something happened to her? Oh no. We were in the IBC building when the city was occupied. A bunch of black uniformed soldiers stormed the building and demanded that my mom go with them. The next thing we knew, she was she was shoving us in an elevator leading underground. Oh, uh, mom, uh, what's gotten into you? Are you freaking kidding me? I can handle this. So let me... Does your dumb, thick skull have eyes? You saw how many there are, and they have that new model with them. I have a different request for you, Agate Crossner. Protect Tita, even if it costs you your life. Do I make myself clear? Damn it, Erica! Mom! Mom! So that's what happened. I'm not surprised Professor Russell put your safety first, although... Yeah, she's stubborn as a mule. But it's my fault she did that. I never should have allowed us to end up in this situation to begin with. That's on me. You don't have to blame yourself, Agate. I guess that means Estelle and Joshua haven't been with you guys, huh? I'm afraid not. We haven't been able to get in touch with them since the city was occupied. Something must be jamming communications. I hope they're alright. Estelle and Joshua are both seasoned bracers. I trust they'll be alright. I'm more worried about your mother. I don't doubt that she's pretty tough for a researcher, but these are trained soldiers we're dealing with. I think it's safe to assume that she is still in the EDF's custody, at least. However, that doesn't answer why they wanted your mother to begin with. We don't know either. The soldier said something about someone needing helpers, and that's all we know. We managed to access one of the underground computers after that. That's when we learned that she was taken to, Ryan, to the Ryanford military factory. Hmm, I have my suspicions on who this someone could be. 
which means I also have a really bad feeling about this. So do I. Only one name comes to mind based on the information we have thus far. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. This is a guild request at the end of the day. The job's not done until it's reported in and the client gives the reward. I'm dragging Erica out of there so I can get paid, whether she likes it or not. We'll save her for sure. It sounds like we're headed to the same place then. You can count on us for support. The more the merrier. Thanks, everyone. We really appreciate it. I should at least be able to lend a hand when it comes to things like information gathering and technology. Don't under don't undersell yourself. I'm sure you do, you'll be a great help. Not gonna lie, running into you guys was good timing. We could really use the help. No problem, oh teamwork makes a dream work, doesn't it? Also, I have this tank on my head and it's like bigger than me. <laughs> so the military factory is that away, huh? Yeah, let's get moving. Uh, <clears throat>